Uh, so Tulsi Gabbard still remains my favorite uh, right now. She is she's um, saying a lot of good things, saying a lot of interesting things. She's she's a very measured and response uh, uh, measured and responsible person. I think she has owned up to her uh, her past faults, which fucking Rachel Maddow didn't let up on. Like she's like you you've said some bad things. You've said some bad things about the LGBTQ community, and sure, you've apologized, but you said some bad things. And she, again, she addressed it calm and measured, uh, you know, like, she, uh, yes, I apologize, and I apologize again. I was raised in a conservative Hindu family. That's what I knew at, the, at that point, but once you grow and learn and change and evolve as a person, you change your mind. And you look at your past discretions and you say, wow, I, I acted really terribly. And her record, her legislative efforts, all of that stuff is uh, proves that she's not an anti-LGBT candidate. She's a very pro-LGBT candidate. Uh, because when you boil it down, uh, if you look at the context of what she was looking at it from, which is, a, which is to reduce regime change wars, military, industrial complex, and the never-ending wars, uh, what purpose does it have to... Uh, demonize the LGBTQ community. They are just part of the American people that need that deserve the same rights that we do. Awesome. Uh, but she really got shafted during the debates. She really, really got shafted during the debates. Um, she got very little time to put her policies out. She had one heated exchange with um, Ohio, uh, Ohio representative, Ohio congressman Tim Ryan. I think it's Tim Ryan was the gentleman's name. Um, and she kind of schooled him, and they ended the conversation just as she was just like, yeah, Al-Qaeda attacked us on 9-11, and also Al-Qaeda is funded by Saudi Arabia, who we're allies with. And I was just like, oh! And then they were just like, okay, we're done! We gotta stop talking now! That's time! Everybody shut the fuck up! <laughs> she basically called out that Saudi Arabia funded Al-Qaeda, which was released in the 28 pages the 28 redacted pages, and uh, and we're still friends with Saudi Arabia because we love their oil, and they love our military. <laughs> and, and, they, and they were like, we can't talk about that any fucking uh, dog. Okay, all right, bye. We're, okay, Elizabeth Warren, you had something to say. And, what? Uh, no, Cory Booker, you want to tell us where you're from again? Cory, you want to talk about New Jersey? Nobody's talking about New Jersey up here. Do you want to talk about it? We can't bring up that Saudi Arabia technically owns the military, like, can tell our military what to do. And uh, and we're cool with that because we like their oil. Uh, so everybody shuts fuck up about it. Cory Booker, New Jersey. You got something to say about New Jersey. It's hilarious. The one point I think, um, I understand where she's coming from in this, uh, is her health care plan, right? I think the end goal... Uh, is Medicare for all, and that's the end goal for me. I think that's what I support uh, as the end goal. But look, people like me and any other progressive candidate and anybody else that would probably vote for Tulsi Gabbard or Bernie Sanders or anybody else, um, they're not the ones we have to convince. We have to convince the people that uh, in middle America, these no-service zones, right, upstate New York and places like that, uh, that, that – uh, are working class people and de and depend on their work for insurance, and their work depends uh, uh, gets their insurance from partnering with uh, insurance companies, large insurance corporations that uh, that charge a lot of money, uh, and so money comes out of people's paychecks, uh, and that's money they don't have for rent or food or water, uh, utilities, things that they need, uh, because they need to cover their 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 health charges. Um, so her. Tulsi Gabbard's plan was that we're gonna, definitely going to do a Medicare for all, but I'm not, I'm not going to say that we're ready to abolish the private insurance companies just yet, which I know sounds crazy, right? But here's the thing. Like, it has to be the people that are already against it, the people that are already just like, oh, socialism, it's, it's going to ruin everything. Like, those people are going to be pro-private insurance still, but they need to see that the alternative is actually better than what the re what, what the current system is. So fine, let's use the let's use the competitive nature of capitalism in and of itself. Uh, fund a public option, fund a Medicare for all option, and throw it out there and let people sign up for it. I I would I would wager to bet 
that if we did that, a lot more people, a lot more people would sign up for Medicare for All. And uh, and then uh, those people will be able to educate the, the private insurance people, right? Not not the corporations, but the people that are for, for having a, a private insurance still and be like, look, man, you, like, you're not doing great. Like, your health is not doing great and you're losing money. Uh, and you're struggling, like, don't you want to save a shit ton of money? Like, if you put into that, you're, yeah, your taxes might go up a little bit, right? Like, your taxes might go up a little bit, but in the long run, like, like, you're going to be saving so much more money. And I think that might be a, a transitive way of getting people um, in middle America that are a little bit more conservative, a little more afraid of, of socialism and the boogeyman of that, and don't really understand what it is, um... You know, get them on board with the idea of Medicare for all. That's a plan. That's a fucking plan right there. What she outlined when when she finally got to fucking speak was a plan to 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 show people that Medicare for all is the right thing to do. Is is the plan and and it's and it is putting it in direct competition with the insurance companies who are fucking the American people because because the American people need to see what the alternative is in order to see how badly they're being fucked. That's just how human beings are wired, you know? Um, so yeah, that's a plan. I, I really, I, I thought that was a very measured response. Um, hopefully, uh, people can be on board with it because look, the end result is always going to be Medicare for all. It's always going to be universal healthcare. It's always going to be to make sure that people don't fall into debt just because they went into the hospital. That's not okay, and that's the end result of it. But it's getting people on board with it, getting people in, in middle America that might not have anything but, um, you know, Fox News being their point of information that says Medicare for all is socialism. It's going to jack up your taxes and kill your kill your horses. They're going to come and they're going to they're going to they're going to take everything away from you. And why? Just because you think you deserve a healthy life. That's the that's who we're trying to convince. Yeah, I think human beings deserve a healthy life, and I think I think being in debt for wanting a healthy life is wrong. And they need to see the comparative analysis of that, comparing so it side by side. And at that point too, it's like it starts bringing up the conversation that now where's that? Now we have to reallocate money in order to show that there needs to be a public option. You reallocate money into a public option, and you weigh it against each other, and then you can do a cost-benefit analysis. It's just a, that that's a great to me. That's a great plan. It's a great plan not to not because it, look, the insurance companies are going to be against universal health care anyway. We already know that. We already know that. That, but but it's not even that. It's how many people don't like how many people how many average citizens can we get to go up against the insurance companies and be like, go fuck yourself. We're going to jump on this public option. And collapse the insurance. Like, let the people determine that, right? Let's use capitalism against these fucking people. Let's use competition against these fucking people. Give them a taste of their own medicine, so to speak. I thought she did really well in that in that at that point. Um, she still wasn't given a fair shake. Uh, a lot, and and a lot of what she was talking about was through the lens of decreasing the regime change wars. Uh, decreasing the uh, military industrial complex and uh, reallocating funds for, for more domestic needs and coming up uh, with a better foreign policy that doesn't involve destabilizing other countries and telling other countries who their leaders are. I thought I thought she did a, a, a great thing and apparently she was one of, she was like the most googled candidate after the debate. So like so like so NBC basically tried to like make sure that she doesn't get enough airtime to prop up Cory Booker and Elizabeth Warren and uh, and they failed because in the little time that she had she spoke so well that people were like who's this lady like let's find out more about this super hot lady that doesn't want war like that's awesome I think that's super great and I hope a bunch of people will uh, will, will support her candidacy and, and donate to her campaign Hey everyone, uh, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and share it. 
Uh, these are little clips from a little segment I do called Road Reflections, where uh, I go live on my Facebook page uh, and talk about current events, creativity, uh, touring, what's going on uh, in my life. So if you enjoy this kind of content, you can go and like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at Krish Mohan, ha ha. Uh, I'm also performing live stand-up comedy all around the country. If you enjoyed these uh, little snippets of sociopolitical commentary, uh, it's very similar to what my stand-up comedy is. You can go to ramennoodlescomedy.com for all of the show dates and tickets. It's R-A-M-A-N noodlescomedy.com. Uh, and if you want to continue supporting DIY independent socially conscious comedy content, you can become a patron today. I don't have uh, any corporate sponsors or any small business sponsors just yet. So at the moment, I am people-sponsored. I'm sponsored by you guys. So you can go to patreon.com slash krishmohanhaha and become a patron today starting at only $2 a month. You can check out all the tiers and rewards. Thanks so much, guys, and we'll see you soon.